Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be explaining how to use Puppeteer. So the first thing you're going to do when you end up on Puppeteer is you're going to be on this main page. Anyone who is live with Puppeteer will appear on here and you can easily find your streamer. So I mean I'm obviously going to go with the wonderful The Yet. If you're not following them their link is in my description below and you should go check them out. So when you get into Puppeteer you're going to have this screen. It is a blank screen and it has no assignment yet. The first thing you're going to want to do if you want to join the colony is buy a pawn. If you don't want to have a pawn, you can just use the screen to send products to the colony to help out uh, or to hinder based on your streamer's settings. So we are going to buy a pawn because we are always a member of the colony. So you're just going to type buy pawn and you're going to hit enter and you will have bought a pawn. Now, I just need to go tell my streamer to please assign me so I can continue the video. Okay, so now I have been assigned by the streamer, so I have full access over my pawn and I can now fully control them. Now, if you don't wanna be fully in control of your pawn, that's okay. The streamer can take care of that for you and they can have control of it. You can just be part of the colony. You can be as hands-off or hands-on as you want. That is totally up to you. You don't even have to attend every stream, be active in every stream, or even be controlling Puppet the whole time. You can have Puppet up to earn coins, and you can be doing your own thing. That is no problem. So on the first page here that you'll be given, there are many different options of ways you can customize your pawn. So there's ways to draft your pawn. Do not draft your pawn unless you have a reason for it or unless the streamer has asked you to. This will put them ready to fight. And if you leave your pawn drafted too long, they will have a mental break. So I typically leave myself um, undrafted and I don't change myself from drafted to undrafted if the streamer chose me to be drafted. It's quite rude to change that because a streamer is typically doing something with your pawn that's important, like helping with the raid. So out of respect for your streamer and the community that you're playing in, do not touch this unless you have a specific reason. The second thing here is the mode of what you'll do if you're attacked. You can flee, you can attack, you can ignore. I usually play more aggressive pawns, so I always put the mode onto attack. Now here, the next four ones are type of weapons that you can equip. You can find them on the second map panel, which we'll get to shortly, or you can do the drop down menu, which is honestly more effective. Right now, since we're a new colony, we actually don't have any weapons, and all I can really equip is wood. So we're going to leave that for now until we buy weapons. The next is outfits. You can choose what type of outfits you want to wear. You can be a worker, you can be a soldier, you could even be a nudist if that tickles your fancy, which, you know, usually does for me. Right now, I'm just going to leave it to anything, and that is fine. The next one is the drugs. So this is when you can choose how your character interacts with drugs. Normally, it gets put on social drugs. If your streamer has any specific drug policies, they will also appear here. I usually play um, a drug-loving colonist, so I always switch mine to unrestricted. Um, if you are injured, you can tell your pawn to take care of themselves here. The second tab here is the map tab. Here, you can have more control of your pawn. You can tell them to do specific things. Uh, you can follow them around, you can find items to pick up, and all that stuff. It is a little bit hard, it gets a little bit hard to control, it isn't the most optimized, but this is how you can do things. A few things to note when you're in this mode, do not, and I repeat, do not deconstruct items. It is very rude and selfish to deconstruct items that people may have bought, the streamer might have worked to create, and that is how you could get banned from being in Puppet. So do not deconstruct items. But for the most part, you do have free reign here. Um, like I can go to sleep, I can put myself into bed, I can find um, booze and weed and, you know, smoke it and drink to my heart's content and get blackout drunk and passed out and all that good fun stuff that, you know, you might love to do. The third tab here is your clothing options. Uh, right now, I'm just wearing the basic clothing, but as you get more armor and more clothing, it'll all be here. 
if it is tainted or at any point you don't want to wear your clothes anymore you can just drop the clothes third tab here is your inventory as you see i have no items in my inventory because this is a brand new colony but here i'll show you any guns you have any food you have in your inventory and if you have beer and food here um, if you do have drugs beer food in your inventory there is a little food icon that will appear that you can actually consume them right from your inventory so the next tab here with the little band-aid is your health so you can see that i have an old shotgun I have an old gunshot here and i've recently got shot and scratched by a boom rat and burnt and you know i'm not doing great um and all of that will reflect here you can see how your afflictions are affecting your body additionally if you have any upgrades to your body like if you have an architect leg or arm or lung you will see all of that in this tab and you will also see how those affect your body so you can actually be above 100 percent based on the modifications you have to your body the third tab here is your general mood your needs for your calmness as you see i have very low mood right now i am about to break this is not great you can all see your karma all this good stuff um a few good things to note here are your mood of course your food and your rest recreation is also good so these ones are the one you want to keep your eye on so you know one thing you might not realize if you want your pawn to do x that you also should have been sleeping and if you don't sleep you're gonna have serious problems oh and as you can see i am slowly getting better so my mood is increasing and these arrows here show you which way your pawn is on the way up to going so if the arrow is here it means that my pawn's mood is going to drop and you should do things to counteract that this is where drugs come in play the best thing to do when your mood drops low is honestly to get some smoke leaf, get some beer, get some drugs into your colonist body. I find smoke leaf most effective. You can do one and it'll boost your mood instantly, just like real life. The next tab here is your general mood. This will show you all your moodlets, whether you have negative or positive buffs. And you kind of want to like keep an eye and make sure you have more positive than negative. If you have too many negative, your mood will drop, you could start breaking, and when your calmness breaks, you lose control of them. You cannot control them in that map menu. The next tab here is the social menu. You can see relationships with other colonists, and if you hover over them, you can see why. For example, good Canadian family man here. I think they are absolutely stunning, and they are one of my best friends because of it. I'm not sure why they like me. I honestly haven't checked out anything about my character yet. This next tab here is about your character. And that's why I haven't checked it out yet. Because we are going through this together for the first time. So you can see your background. You can see your pawn's childhood. You can see about their adulthood. If You'll see what you're incapable of. So I can't do dumb labor, like calling, cleaning, or social. Which is fine. I'm not normally the kind of person who does social. It's not my strong point. We usually have people who are strong social. I personally care about shooting and any kind of uh, combat, basically. My traits aren't that great. Um, you can see these. There are um, links that you can do to find traits. Um, and I'll show you momentarily how you can change out your traits. Because, for example, I don't want to be lazy. I don't want to work slow. I don't want to have a weak constitution more than slow i'd rather not have these actually psychically sensitive could be good if it's a good buff so i might keep that for now but we constitution no we are getting rid of besides your pun here you also see your passions one flame is a single passion and two flames is a double passion and the more passion you have the faster you will learn each skill which is really good you won't have to spend many points to get neuro trainers for this i mean you don't have to do that anyway i usually bump it up so that i have better shooting so i am more likely to survive and be helpful in the colony but again that is totally up to you that is my personal preference and something i always do the tab here is the schedule tab this is where you can set your work priorities and you can set your schedule for the day i think the streamer went through and set us all to work during the day and sleep at night 
Um, something I do is I go to meditate. And I typically give myself a meditation hour before I work and after the day. And then I leave um, these. Typically when I'm doing my own schedule and I think I will do it now. Is I will like leave a little bit in the day for me to do anything in case I need to take care of my needs. You don't want to micromanage your colonist schedule too much because if you have them to work all the time or recreational time, they won't take care of their other needs. Anything time is a good time. They will take care of what they need to do. They will eat. They will do their recreation. They will do anything that they deem necessary during this time based on the colony's need and also based on their own personal needs. Up here, you can click on them to reassign your priorities with one being the highest priority and four being the lowest and if you don't have it selected you won't do it so i'm going to bump up my passions to two so that i can have the best chance of getting my skills to grow um Honestly, I'm going to bump up Firefight and Patient to priority one because I do think that is really, really important because if you're sick, you need to take care of yourself and if there's a fire, you need to put that out before it messes up the colony. This last tab here is probably the one of the most important tabs and the tab that I spend the most time on. This is the toolkit tab. It is labeled TT. And this is where you buy stuff. So, for example, I was mentioning I didn't want, uh, I think it was weak constitution. Let me go back to check. Yes, I didn't want weak constitution. I'm going to be replacing my trait, weak constitution. I'm probably going to replace it with a shooter trait. I'm just going to look up some traits real quickly. One thing to keep a note for the traits is that if your streamer has... Uh, modded traits you can also add those here so your streamer might have modded traits so you'll want to ask them what trait mods they have so for example weak constitution is actually a consolidated trait mod so i'm actually going to replace weak constitution with strong constitution there was an update recently where it stopped telling you in here and it goes in the chat so it'll tell you in the chat if you uh, if it worked which for me it did i see it in my chat by the side I also tell you if you tried to buy something and you don't have enough coins for it um there's a variety of things you can do here let's say you want a gun you can go backpack and you can choose the gun i'm not going to do that right now because i already have a knife and i'm not the great at guns if you want to increase a specific skill you'll want to go buy neuro trainer and then in parentheses, you'll want to put the skill you want, and then you can put the number like that. Uh, I'm not going to buy this right now. I need to figure out what I want to do with my pawn. I'm probably going to do shooting because melee is honestly how you get your pawn really messed up. So I'm going to think about what I want to do with my pawn and what makes the most sense for me. Maybe I'll do melee, but right now I'm not going to worry about that. You can also buy drugs for your colony here. For example, smoke leaf joints. I typically buy them in 420 and I actually am going to buy that because that is something I typically do. Also, since we are a new colony, something nice you can do is buy some packaged survival meals. I'm going to buy 69 just because I like to do meme numbers in my colony. It's a fun thing to do and it makes people laugh. You can do a variety of different things here. You can always ask stream and the community the different things you can buy. But there's lots of different things you can buy here. Remember, if you want things in your inventory, you need to go backpack. Not every streamer has that mod installed, but if they do, that is the best way to ensure that your pawn is going to get it yourself. And that is everything that you need to know for RimWorld. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below, and I will do my very best to answer them either in the comments or I will answer them in a new video. I hope you guys all have a great day. Day and have a fun time joining the world of interactive form world and being a pawn. Bye!